I know that you make good use of is, is dream work. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so can you say can you, a few words about why you work with dreams, yeah. how you work with dreams, certainly in a lot of contemporary evidence-based approaches, there's no room for that at all. No, no, a lot of therapists I supervise in groups uh, make very little use of dream work. It's very hard for people, but I, I find it tremendously valuable. I, I come across session after session that I have where a dream is introduced a whole new direction. <clears throat> And I learned so much more about it. So I will ask for dreams. I will always ask for dreams in the first session, mm -hmm. just because sometimes first dreams will be about therapy, it'll be about anticipations of therapy, and and what will what will that be like? Um, so I uh, ask for dreams in the first session. I don't have the idea that we are going to interpret a dream. I have the idea that I'm just going to learn something from the patient. Mm -hmm. If I ask them to, things happen in the dream, I ask them to associate with this. I just start hearing things about people in their lives and things in their lives that I would never have known about. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a first dream that I had just the other day of a, of a patient entering therapy, um, uh, I think I can talk about this. So the, the dream was that... Um, she 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 was had a stable and there was a two horses in there. One of them was a very dark horse, almost entirely black. The other was a lighter colored horse, and she was taking out the lighter colored horse. Uh huh. But she couldn't get it out very easily because it was near the darker horse, and the darker horse was very ferocious. Uh huh. So the whole problem was how you get the white one out there. So. That that was about the dream, as all she remembered. But it uh -huh. but it it brought up the question that there is there is this dark horse inside of her, this dark part of her that's that's dangerous and ferocious, and um, and so um, that was something to keep for me to keep in mind. That there, mm -hmm. There's some there's some uh, ferocious part of her inside that we haven't gotten to yet, uh -huh. but it's there, and she's afraid of it as well. Uh -huh. 